What's up, everybody? So, if you remember, last year I picked up some dude's collection. I bought some dude's collection, and it was over 2,000 items, a little somewhere around 2,000 items, which consisted of games, consoles, players' guides, magazines, controllers, accessories, etc., etc. And that was definitely by far the best overall pickup that I've ever had because it had both quantity and quality and uh, I got it for significantly below retail value and that was a that was a great day well today it's happening again uh, a little bit different but it's happening again I'm picking up another collection and uh, let me just give you a little background so the guy that contacted me that's selling his collection he used to run a uh, retro video game store in a rural, a rural, 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 that's a hard ass word to say, a rural town nearby, uh, very close to me, like 20 minutes away, very small town, uh, very kind of country town, and it had a retro game store in it. He ran it. I used to buy stuff from him all the time from his store, and uh, he would hook me up with really good deals, really nice guy. And eventually he sold the game store and me and him stay, stay, stayed connected through Instagram and also we had each other's cell phone number. So we, we stayed, stayed connected. And he always told me that if he ever decided to sell his collection that he would contact me. Well, the other day he contacted me because he had a bunch of uh, uh, game consoles for sale and some other miscellaneous stuff that he was selling for super, super, super cheap because the game consoles had various issues. Uh, most of them were not working for various reasons. So I went ahead and bought it because it, the price he said was so cheap. If I could even get a few of those game consoles to work, it will be worth it. And whenever I met him, he said that he's thinking about selling his collection. He's been thinking real hard about it a couple of days. And he asked me if I would be interested. And of course, I said, of course, yeah. You know, if the price is right, depending on what you have, yeah, I'll be interested. So yesterday he uh, sends me a list of everything that he has. And it's, it's between 800 and 900 games across pretty much all consoles. You name a console, there's probably a game on it in this collection, for the most part. So 800 to 900 games across almost all consoles, and 35 plus gaming consoles, many of which have boxes. And we're talking about some pretty rare consoles like the Atari Jaguar and the Neo Geo Pocket Color. A lot of really, really rare stuff that he's, that he's selling. Uh, also, in addition to that, game posters, 89 boxed PC games, and various controllers and accessories and things like that. So, in the price that he said, I'm not going to say what the price is, uh, but let's just say the price that he said was really, really good. We negotiated a little bit back and forth, and uh, we both came to an agreement on the price. And uh, he definitely priced it below retail value, which I was very appreciative of. So it comes out to be a really good deal. Like it comes out to be around $2 per game, somewhere around $2 per game, and then certain amounts for each console. So I'm very, very happy about it. And I'm going to pick that up today. Um, I, he doesn't have any boxes, so I'm going to have to stop and grab some large boxes because I'm going to have to help him pack all the stuff up. So anyways, I'm going to pick up this huge game collection. A lot of good stuff in this collection. And uh, we're gonna unbox it all on the channel and talk about it further, so stay Lakers tuned, everybody. House, and I'm in his game room right now, and he's got all the boxed consoles ready for me. Uh, now I just gotta, bought all these boxes, so now I just gotta pack up all the games. There's games all over the place. Some extra stuff he's throwing in. So now I just gotta, pack over everything up and load it into the back of the truck and then we'll head back to the house all right so we just finished packing all the games up and loading the truck up so in the front of the truck here is just i i ran out of room in the back as you're going to see in just a second so the front of the truck is literally just packed full of boxed game consoles now let's go look at the back of the truck okay so in the back of the truck you see this box here, this big box? There's eight of those in the back of the truck right now and they're all packed full of video games and consoles.
All right, got the game lot home. Everything is in the house. Eight boxes this big and a bunch of video game consoles and some other miscellaneous stuff. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing everything on camera. Let's do it. I decided not to literally unbox the games on camera because honestly, it would take all day for me to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty each box out on the table and then I'll just kind of go over what we've got in each box uh, at a glance. I'm not gonna name off every single game, but I'll kind of talk about the highlights and stuff. So first we've got the NES games in the lot. Now the cool thing about these NES games is every single one of them he has in these custom plastic cases with printed uh, cover art. So it's just, you know, the cartridge in these cases and that's pretty cool because it makes them look better on the shelf, uh, number one. And number two, it keeps dust out of them. So we got several NES games here. We've got Golf, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Skater Die 2, Hogan's Alley, Gyro Might. We've got Excite Bike, Sl Slalom, Slalom, however the hell you say that. TNC Surf Designs, Pinball to the Earth, and Metal Gear. And then in this stack, we've got Pro Wrestling, Mock Rider, 10 Yard Fight, Gotcha, Glove, Super Glove Ball, and Baseball. And in this stack, we've got Ice Hockey, Double Dragon, Super Mario Bros. Slash Duck Hunt, The Legend of Zelda, The Adventures of Bayou Billy, Ninja Gaiden, and Rad Racer. Anyways, in this stack, we've got Dr. Mario, World Class Track Meet, Skater Die, uh, Snake's Revenge, Tetris, Super Mario Bros. 3, and Super Mario Bros. 2. So, some decent NES games there, and I definitely like that they are all in these cases. So, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, we've also got some Sega uh, Genesis games. So, let's take a look at those Sega Genesis games. Uh, and they're all boxed. And we've, there's some loose Sega Genesis cartridges, too, in one of the boxes we'll get to at some point. But we've got some boxed Sega Genesis games here. We've got this uh, F-22 Interceptor. We've got the Lion King, uh, F-117 Night Storm, Urban Strike, WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, Bulls vs. Lakers, Jungle Strike, WWF Royal Rumble, and WWF Raw. Uh, and then we got some Sega Dreamcast games. We got a pretty decent stack of Sega Dreamcast games here. We have Fur Fighters, Sonic Adventure, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, Choo Choo Rocket, Sega Dreamcast Web Browser, which nobody cares about, Hydro Thunder, Crazy Taxi, NBA 2K1, NBA 2K, uh, Blue Stinger, which I've never heard of, it looks pretty cool, uh, Sydney 2000 Olympics, World Series Baseball, World Series Baseball 2K1, Virtual Tennis, Tee Off, uh, NHL 2K, Acclaim Sports, Championship Surfer, NFL 2K, NFL 2K1, Sega Flag to Flag, and NCAA 2K2. A lot of sports games, but still, these days you don't really see Sega Dreamcast games too often, so uh, pretty cool to get a stack of those. And then we've got some Nintendo 64 games here in some cases, and these are not all the Nintendo 64 games, just some of them, there's more in another box. We've got a uh, Game Shark, Nintendo 64 Game Shark. So we've got uh, Excite Bike 64, Dr. Mario 64, Extreme G2, Mickey Speedway, Hey You Pikachu, Extreme G, and Cruising USA. And again, there are more Nintendo 64 games that we'll get to in another box. And then we've got a large stack of Sega Saturn games, and we've got a small stack of Sega CD games, so let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, anyways, we've got Last Gladiators Digital Pinball, uh, NHL 97. This, you know what, the sports games, I'll, I'll call them out, but I'm not going to show them on camera. Olympic Soccer, VR Soccer, uh, Sega Sports, Pebble Beach Golf Links. Here's a helicopter game called Black Fire. Uh, NBA Live 97, VR Virtual Racing, Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball, uh, Blast Chamber, uh, NFL Quarterback Club 96, Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition, Madden 97, Hang On GP, and Andretti Racing. So there are the Sega Saturn games. Then we've got uh, a couple of Sega Master System games here. We've got Afterburner, 
Pro Wrestling, Hang On, and Safari Hunt. Then we've got a few Sega CD games, which again, you don't see Sega CD games very often either. We've got Eternal Champions, uh, National Hockey Night, FIFA International Soccer, Wheel of Fortune with Vanna White on the cover, uh, Tomcat Alley, and those are the Sega CD games. Now this is pretty cool. This is a boxed Sega Master System light phaser gun. It's basically like the, uh, the NES Zapper, but it's for the Sega Master System. The box is in really good condition, and when I open the box up, it actually looks like the, Sega, the uh, light phaser has never been used. It looks like it was still in the wrapping and everything, so that's pretty cool. A boxed Game Boy Pocket AC adapter, which is pretty cool, because uh, usually you don't find the, uh, the adapters box like that. A couple of boxed Game Gear games, nothing special, NFL 95 and World Series Baseball, so not really... Uh, anything special there, but then we've got some boxed Game Boy Advance and some boxed, a couple boxed Game Boy Color games, or one box Game Boy Color game. So we've got Ready to Rumble Boxing on the Game Boy Color box, which is pretty cool. Uh, Tonka on the Job, Disney's Treasure Planet, uh, Konami Collector Series Advanced Arcade, Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective, The Hobbit, which is pretty cool. Uh, Dogs, Frogger Adventures, Temple of the Frog, Gauntlet and Ramparts, Dual Blades, Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics, and Rocky on the Game Boy Advance, which is pretty neat. So it's always cool to find box Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. And this is pretty cool right here. This is um, called a Mega Memory Card for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, and apparently you plug this into your Game Boy, then you plug the cartridge into it, and it serves as like a memory card where you can actually save your game files to it, just like a memory card for like a PlayStation 2 or a GameCube, uh, so that you don't have to save them on the cartridge itself. And it says you can store up to 100 Game Boy saves, and you can organize them and view them, and there's a user-friendly interface. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's something kind of unique, and apparently it's pretty rare too, uh, judging by eBay. All right, so we've got a bunch of Game Boy Color, uh, Sega Game Gear, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance games here. I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but I am gonna talk about a few of the notable ones that are pretty rare. Um, first of all, we've got a we got a good old classic purple Game Boy Color, which is my favorite color, the translucent uh, atomic purple. Now, if I show these on camera, you're probably not gonna be able to see them, but I'll try. Uh, we've got uh, Pokemon Silver, we've got Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, Pocket Bomberman, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, so both of them. Uh, we've got a Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, a little Tomb Raider game, Conker's Pocket Tales, Donkey Kong Country, uh, let's see, The Simpsons Treehouse Horror. Pokemon Trading Card Game, Mortal Kombat 4, Game & Watch Gallery 3, but the two really rare Game Boy Color games here are Metal Gear Solid and Resident Evil Gaiden, or Gaiden. These two games are pretty freaking rare for the Game Boy Color, so that is really, really awesome. And Metal Gear Solid's a good game. I don't know about Resident Evil, but Metal, Metal Gear Solid is definitely a good game. Double Dragon and Double Dragon 2. Uh, let's see, we've got Golf, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3, Yoshi's Cookie, Wario Land 2, Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2, uh, Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2. We've got Kirby's Dream Land, Metroid 2, a lot of good titles here, Kid Icarus, Pokemon Yellow, uh, Pokemon Red, Donkey Kong, which is not what you think. It's actually a really good game. Uh, then we've got the Game Boy Camera, which is pretty cool. I remember when that first came out. And uh, this is pretty neat. This is not something I've ever seen before. It's a little, I think it's an official Nintendo licensed Game Boy cleaning kit. And then we've got a, uh, there's a Sega Game Gear in here and a bunch of Sega Game Gear games. I'm not gonna dig these out because there's not really anything rare or notable. Um, all the Sonic games are in here, Super Columns, you know, a few of the common uh, Sega Game Gear games. And then in this bag, we've got a Game Boy Advance, a black Game Boy Advance SP, 
and a bunch of Game Boy Advance games. There's a few notable Game Boy Advance games in here. You got Zelda Four Swords, uh, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Return of Samus, WarioWare, uh, a couple of Banjo-Kazooie games, some of the Super Mario Advance games for the Game Boy Advance. So there's some pretty good stuff in here. And then in this bag, it's just some miscellaneous stuff, but there's a PSP, uh, PSP in there. And then there's a loose copy of Gran Turismo and then some kind of little PSP demo disc. So that's pretty much everything in the first box. So uh, let's move on to another one. All right, so this next box um, has some vintage stuff in it, quite a bit of vintage stuff um, and some pretty cool, unique items. Let's go over these, these couple of vintage consoles real quick. So we have a ColecoVision which is, you don't see these very often at all. I'm sure Nathan will be happy to see this. It's got both controllers with it. It looks like it's looks like it's in fairly good condition. This is only the second ColecoVision I've ever seen in my life. They're not very easy to find. So that's pretty neat. Uh, then we've got, this thing is really old and vintage. This is a Texas Instruments TI-99 4A computer. Um, and it's got a game in it right now called Munchman. So this thing is really cool. I don't even know how to how to plug this thing into a TV. Um, but I'm not really into the vintage stuff, but it's still pretty neat because it's just not something you see very often. And this thing is older than I am. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got a Atari 5200, which I've only seen a couple of these before. These are pretty, pretty hard to find. It's a huge freaking console, huge. But that's the Atari 5200. So that's pretty neat um, and then we've got uh, uh, here's another cool thing so this is an attachment he was telling me this is an attachment for the Commodore 64 to play cassette tape games you, apparently you plug this into the Commodore 64 and you can play games on cassette tape and there's actually one in it right now um, it looks like the labels kind of ripped off but that's act that's actually a video game don't ask me how the hell a video game on a cassette tape works but there you go so that's pretty cool. No idea if this thing works or not, but it's uh, very old, very vintage. And vintage stuff is pretty cool. And then we've got this um, this little Atari game over, and it's got a bunch of Atari games in it. It's got a bunch of Atari games in it. Dragster, 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, Crossbow, uh, Sneak and Peek, Berserk, Laser Blaster, Chopper Command Frogger, Target Fund, Crackpots, Dolphin, Warlord, uh, Towering Inferno, Bermuda Triangle, Cubert, Bugs, and then we've got uh, Pitfall 2. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then going along with the Atari thing, we've got this pretty cool little Atari game holder. So it's a little like book looking thing and it holds eight Atari cartridges. So never seen anything like that before. It's different. Uh, let's see, we've got some Atari 5200 games here. We got a couple. We've got Galaxian, Defender, Moon Patrol and uh, QIX Kicks, however the hell you say that. We've got a Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo. Loose copy of Mario Tennis, pretty rough shape. Uh, we've got some Sega 32X games here. We've got a, looks like a complete copy, uh, no manual. Well, we've got a box copy of Mortal Kombat 2 with no manual for the Sega 32X. Then we've got a loose copy of Virtual Fighter and a loose copy of Metalhead, which sounds like a pretty pretty cool pretty cool name for a game. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It's something for the NES. It looks like maybe a cleaner. Um, yeah, it's a cleaner. So this is an NES 32 pin, or, or uh, yeah, it's, a th it's an NES pin cleaner, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a couple of Virtual Boy games here. We've got a box copy of Virtual League Baseball, Loose copy of Mario's Tennis, two loose copies of Mario's Tennis, uh, Red Alarm, uh, Tellero Boxer, and Galactic Pinball for the Virtual Boy. You don't see Virtual Boy games very often. Then we've got some kind of little Nintendo 3DS grip stand still in the uh, in the container. Uh, we got some more, uh, actually these are ColecoVision games, so we've got Turbo, Pepper 2, Donkey Kong, Sub Rock, Blackjack Slash Poker, and Cosmic Avenger for the ColecoVision. Um, I have no idea what these are. Something for the Sega Saturn. This one, this thing's called uh, ST Key. 
and I have no idea what that is. So I have to ask. Uh, I have to ask the guy I bought them from about those. Now here's something really cool. So he was telling me that this is the only wireless Nintendo Entertainment System NES controller. So this was this is the receiver for it. You plug it into both controller ports, and then you've got these two wireless controllers, which. Uh, looks like they do take batteries. Yeah, but you got these two wireless controllers that you can wirelessly connect to your NES and play NES games wirelessly. Uh, then we've got this PlayStation One arcade stick. So this PlayStation One arcade stick, always cool to see arcade sticks. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really like arcade sticks, but I know a lot of people that do. Uh, then we've got some more Atari games. These are Atari 2600 games, and they're. They're all in custom cases. Um, I'm not gonna show these to the camera, I'll just call them out. We got Miss Pac-Man, Yard's Revenge, Millipede, uh, Missile Command, Asteroids, Pitfall, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, uh, Pac-Man, Defender, Galaxian, E.T., Pole Position, <laughs> Pole Position, Jungle Hunts, Chopper Command, Haunted House, and Adventure. Let's see, we've got, now here's something really cool. We've got a TigerGame.com handheld system. And I believe it's got, it. no, it doesn't have a game in it, but I think there there's at least one game in the lot or a couple of games in the lot. But uh, this is an unusual one. I've never seen one of these before. I don't really know much about these, except that it just didn't, it didn't really take off or do well, but that's pretty cool. Now we've got a Neo Geo Pocket Color with a miss, missing uh, cover for the batteries, but Again, this is something you don't see very often. Unfortunately, I don't have any Neo Geo Pocket games to try out with it, but still pretty cool. Then we've got some loose Sega uh, Genesis games. We've got Asterix the Great Rescue, Echo the Tides of Time, uh, Strider, Sonic 2, Super Hang On, Vector Man, Vector Man 2, Eternal Champions, Donald Duck Quack Shot in really bad condition, Sonic Spinball, Subterraria, I'm sorry, Subterrania, uh, Columns, Sonic the Hedgehog, Jewel Master, and Sega Six Pack. And finally, we've got some uh, boxed in television games. Actually, yeah, yeah, we got some boxed in television games. Pretty bad condition, but I'm gonna call these out. We've got Checkers, we've got Frogger, Horse Racing, Star Strike, uh, Night Stalker, Poker and Blackjack, and Burger Time. All right, so this box we had uh, some more older consoles and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, we've got some Atari 7800 games, uh, Galaga, Centipede, Pole, Pole Position 2. Some more Atari 5200 games. Uh, we got Pac-Man, Countermeasure, Pole Position, Centipede, and this one is really cool. Mario Bros for the Atari 5200. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we've got another Atari, well this is a Coleco, Donkey Kong, the Coleco. Then we've got an Odyssey game, um, Alien Invaders Plus for the Magnavox Odyssey. We've got some DS's here, oh, well, we got one 3DS, we've got a DS Lite, two DS Lite, so one 3DS and two DS Lights. Uh, some 3DS AR cards. We've got one CDI game, but it's not really a game. It's an interactive encyclopedia for the CDI. So CDI interactive encyclopedia. And to go along with that, we actually have a CDI. So this is an actual CDI. I don't think we have a controller for it, but yeah, this is an actual CDI. Never seen one of these before. So that's pretty neat. We've got a Sega Master System. We got a Sega Saturn with one controller. And this is really cool. We actually have a Turbo Graphics 16 console with one controller. And there's a couple of Turbo Graphics games uh, in, a, in another box somewhere. Uh, Legendary Axe 1 and 2. This is pretty neat. This is a wireless Xbox 360 wheel controller. I've never seen one of those before, so that's pretty cool. We've got uh, a copy of Star Trek for the Commodore 64. I think that's the only Commodore 64 game in this lot. 
And then we've got a game for the Commodore VIC 1901 Avenger. No idea what that is. Got some miscellaneous stuff, a couple of screen protectors, a couple more Atari 7800 games, Choplifter and Centipede in the box. An Atari flashback plug and play console. Here's for something that's pretty cool. We've got an R Zone. So this is an R Zone. Again, not something you see very often. Uh, Nathan has one of these that actually works. I'm not sure if this one works or not, and I don't have a game for it. But that's pretty cool. Uh, then we've got a Panasonic 3DO with one controller. My brother used to have one of these back in the day, and I remember playing it, and it was pretty fun. Uh, then we've got a Atari 7800, and we've got a couple of PlayStation 2 multi-taps. So we've got a PlayStation 2 four-player multi-tap right here, and then we've got an even cooler one that the PlayStation 2 actually sits down on top of, so this is an even cooler multi-tap. We've unboxed boxes number four and five. Uh, there were a lot of box consoles in those, so we set them to the side. We're going to show those a little bit later. In this box, we've got uh, some pretty cool stuff. There is a shitload of boxed PC games right here that I'm not going to show on camera. Probably 50 boxed PC games here. Some pretty good stuff, though. Uh, but I'm not going to go through all those. But we got a lot of Odyssey, a lot of Magnavox Odyssey games, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show those. You don't see those very often. We've got UFO. Speedway Spin Out Crypto Logic, Pickaxe Pete, Freedom Fighters, Thunderball, uh, we've got Football, Matchmaker Logics and Buzzword, Blockout Breakdown, Bowling Basketball, KC Munchkin, Baseball, Showdown in 2100 AD, Monkey Shines, and this uh, big box odyssey game called the great wall street fortune hunt it's in a big ass box so that's pretty heavy too so that's that's pretty cool uh then we've got an atari jaguar game random atari jaguar game checkered flag for the atari jaguar i think that might be the only atari jaguar game in the lot actually uh in case you're wondering what an atari jaguar cartridge looks like there you go and then we've got a playstation a uh, PlayStation fishing rod controller, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'd like to know what games that goes with. That's pretty neat. I bet it would be pretty fun playing a fishing game with a legit fishing controller. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a loose DK Bongo controller. Now, I don't really know what this is. I don't know if it's a cooking pan or something you hang on the wall because it doesn't have any color on it, but it's Mario. It's in the shape of Mario, hollowed out on the inside. So I'm not really sure what that is. It says uh, Super 1989. Uh, might have to do a little research into that. Uh, we've got something that nobody wants, an Xbox One Connect, I guess. Nobody wants that. Uh, then we've got this really cool Luigi figurine here. Some miscellaneous toys. We've got an empty PSP box, but I do have the PSP in this lot that goes with the box which is good. We've got an empty PSP Go box. We've got an empty PlayStation Vita box, an empty Nintendo DS Lite box, but I do have the DS Lite that goes in the box. And then we have a empty 3DS box. And I think we have the 3DS that goes in the box as well. Um, and then we've got a stack of PS4 games. We've got Infamous Second Son, Until Dawn, the Order 1986, a loose copy of Black Ops 2, a loose copy of Murdered Soul Suspect, God of War 3 Remastered, a loose copy of Shadow of War, Bloodborne, VR Worlds, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, MLB The Show 15 and 16, Drive Club, and a PSVR game called Werewolves Within. All right, so this one's a doozy. There's a lot of games in this box, and this is box number six. Uh, so we got PS3 games, Xbox 360, PS1 games, Xbox One, DS, 3DS, and a couple of miscellaneous. Let's get the miscellaneous out of the way first. We've got two PlayStation 1 multi-taps, which is pretty cool. Even though I'm pretty sure there aren't very many games for the PlayStation 1 that even supports four players. Uh, then we've got this light gun for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, this is a, a PlayStation 1 light gun. I might actually keep this because um, I've got some CRTs in my game room now and I would love to play some light gun games on the PlayStation 1 because light gun games are pretty awesome. So that's neat. 
Uh, then we've got this bag of just miscellaneous stuff. There's a stack of loose discs in here, a bunch of memory cards, uh, just just some miscellaneous stuff. Nothing nothing too crazy in there. Uh, we've got you know, now this is pretty cool. So uh, a random Atari Lynx game, uh, Dracula the Undead. I've never seen an Atari Lynx game in person before, and there's no Atari Lynx in the uh, in the box, unfortunately. And the Atari Lynx, I'm pretty sure, is a handheld console too. It's a handheld Atari console. Then we've got two Turbo Graphics games, two pretty rare Turbo Graphics 16 games. We got Legendary Axe and Legendary Axe 2. Unfortunately, they are loose, but they're still pretty rare, and they look like they're in pretty decent condition. So that's cool. All right, uh, we've got a stack of PlayStation Vita games. Let's see, we've got Army Corps of Hell, Technica Tune, Uncharted Golden Abyss, Resistance Burning Skies, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, MLB 13 The Show, Hot Shots Golf, Gravity Rush, and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. So a nice little stack of PlayStation Vita games there. I collect for the Vita pretty heavily too, so that's that'll be nice. Then we've got uh, a nice stack of 3DS games. We got some loose 3DS games. Let's see, we've got uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star loose, uh, Mario Kart 7 loose, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening loose, Mario Super Mario 3D Land loose, and Mario and Luigi Paper Jam loose. And then we've got this nice stack of uh, 3DS games here. We've got uh, Lego City Undercover: The Chase Begins, Mario Tennis Open. Nintendo Dogs and Cats, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Style Savvy Fashion Forward, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, Angry Birds uh, Trilogy. So a nice little stack of 3DS games. And then we got another stack. We've got Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D, Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, Steel, Dro uh, Steel Diver, Spirit Camera The Curse Memoir, and Metroid Samus Returns. We got a bunch of PlayStation 3 games. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show all these off to the, on the camera, but I will call them out. Um, I'll at least hold the stacks up to the camera. We've got Deadliest Warrior, Ancient Combat, Mag, Time Crisis, Bla uh, Raising Storm, SOCOM Confrontation, Warhawk, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Resistance 3, God of War Ascension, God of War 3, MLB 09 The Show, Motor Storm, Metal Gear Solid 4. MLB 11, the show, Resistance 2, Resistance Follow Man, Killzone 3, Killzone 2, Twisted Metal, Motor Storm Pacific Rift, and Motor Storm Apocalypse. So, there's that stack of PS3 games. And then we've got, in the second stack, we've got TV Superstars, Kung Fu Rider, Everybody Dance, Sports Champions, Sports Champions 2, God of War Collection, Infamous, Infamous 2, PlayStation All-Stars uh, Battle Royale, Uncharted 2 and 3, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls, Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 2.5 Remix, Heavy Rain, Ninja Gaiden 3, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, Final Fantasy X slash X2 HD Remaster, and The Fight Lights Out. So, decent stack of uh, PlayStation 3 games. If you were a PS3 collector, that would be an awesome start to a PlayStation 3 collection. I'm not even going to name these off, but we've got, I've never, dude, I've literally never seen so many Kinect games in one place before. We've literally got two stacks of Xbox 360 Kinect games, so I'm not even going to read them off. I'll just kind of show the stacks on camera. So we got this stack here, and then we've got this stack here. So literally two stacks of Xbox 360 Kinect video games. So that's, I don't want to say that's cool, but that's something. All right, then we've got some Nintendo DS games. We've got some loose games. We've got Kirby Canvas Curse. We've got uh, Mario versus Donkey Kong 2. We've got Diddy Kong Racing DS, uh, Super Princess Peach, Zelda Spirit Tracks, uh, Mario Party DS, uh, then we've got uh, Nintendo DS Browser, Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, New Super Mario Bros, The Legendary Starfy, uh, Super Mario 64 DS, Resident Evil Deadly si Silence, Mario Kart DS, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and Rhythm Heaven. So a nice little stack of DS games there. Uh, we've got some Xbox One games. We've got a loose copy of the Halo Master Chief Collection, and then we've got copies of 
Scream Ride, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Halo 5, two copies of Halo 5 actually, uh, Rare Replay, and Sunset Overdrive. We got some P uh, a ton of PS1 games here. So let's see, let me go through this real quick. Uh, we've got one PlayStation long box game, Crazy Ivan, the long box version. Uh, Snowcross Championship Racing, Hooters Road Trip, uh, Demolition Racer, Sports Superbike 2, Rallycross, Need for Speed V Rally, Jet Moto, Rallycross 2, Roll Cage Stage 2, V Rally 2, Need for Speed. Uh, we've got a copy of, I don't even know what the hell that is, uh, Driver 2, copy of Driver 2. Cool Borders 2001, Fighting Force 2, then we've got uh, Bravo Air Race, TNN Motorsports, Hardcore 4x4, Test Drive 4, Test Drive 6, Car and Driver Presents, Grand Tour Racing 96. So there's that stack. Next up, we have Gran Turismo 2, Gran Turismo, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 2, Dave Mira Freestyle BMX, Grind Session, Vigilante 8, Army Men 3D, Tom and Jerry in House Trap, uh, Road Rage, Road Rash, Jailbreak, NFL Blitz, and San Francisco Rush. So there's that stack. Next stack of PS1 games, we have WWF Attitude, Toe Ball Number 1, Soviet Strike, Nuclear Strike, uh, Road and Track, The Need for Speed, Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed High Stakes, Crash Team Racing, Fighting Force, Cool Borders 4, Tunnel B1, Real Fishing, Siphon Filter, and Driver. So there's that stack. Just two more stacks of PS1 games. This next stack we have Rainbow Six, Army Men 3D. Uh, we've got Peter Jacobson's Golden T Golf, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero, Forsaken, Mobile Life Force, Tomb Raider, Siphon Filter 2, Roll Cage, Rascal, and Moto, Moto Racer World Tour. So there's that stack. And finally, we have uh, Need for Speed 2, NFL Blitz 2000, MDK, Moto, uh, Jet Moto 2, Test Drive Off-Road, Test Drive Off-Road 3, Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal 4, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions, and Cool Borders 3. So there's that stack. So that's it for uh, this box. We've only got two boxes left, so uh, let's move on to the next ones. All right, we are now in box number seven. So almost to the end, we got box number eight, and then we got a shitload of box consoles. So there's a, man, this box is great, because this box has Super Nintendo games, some more Nintendo 64 games, GameCube, Wii U, PSP, UMD Video, and a ton of Wii games. We have got for the Super Nintendo, Mario Fun with Numbers, Donkey Kong Country 3, Battle Clash. Then we've got uh, Killer Instinct, Super Mario World, Clay Fighter, and Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Then we've got uh, Revolution X, Super Mario Kart, Kirby Superstar, right there. And then we've got Pilot Wings, Super Scope 6, Donkey Kong Country, and F-Zero. And lastly, for Super Nintendo, we've got Tetris and Dr. Mario, uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Mario Paint, and Tetris Attack. So, some really good stuff there. For the Nintendo 64, we have Perfect Dark, Pokemon Snap, Super Smash Bros., Wave Race 64, Super Mario 64, and Mario Kart 64. That is a solid stack of Nintendo 64 games right there. Very nice. For the Wii U, we have Splatoon, Super, Super Smash Bros. Wii U, The Wonderful 101, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, Captain, Co Treasure, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Game and Wario, Star Fox Guard, and Super Mario Maker, the big box version. So that's a nice little stack of Wii U games. For the GameCube, we have Star Fox Adventures, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, Monsters Inc. Scream Arena, Naruto Clash of Ninja 2, Virtual Striker 2002 and Home Run King. It's a nice stack. Uh, we also have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom, Wave Race Blue Storm, Resident Evil Zero, and Tonka Rescue Patrol. And then we have a couple of loose GameCube games. We have Mario Kart Double Dash uh, Loose with a Pikmin manual in the box for some reason. 
another, uh, well, no, this is a Medal of Honor Rising Sun, loose. Uh, Spyro, a Hero's Tale, loose. And another Mario Kart Double Dash, loose. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see. We got this, uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's called a Media Manager for PlayStation Portable. Uh, the easiest way to move mu mu music, movies, and more to your PSP system. All right, so we've got uh, three stacks of PSP games, and then we've got two stacks of UMD videos, so this is really cool. Um, and I'm actually really excited about this because uh, my PSP collection is a little lacking, and this is I'm probably going to keep most of these, and that's going to be a nice boost to my PSP collection. We've got Miami Vice the Game, Patapon, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, Loco Roco, Daxter, Crazy Taxi, Fair Wars, Patapon 3, Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Impact, Need for Speed Underground Rivals, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, and Tony Hawk Underground 2 Remix. That is a really nice stack of PSP games. NBA Ballers Rebound, Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, uh, Medieval Resurrection, uh, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, Siphon Filter Logan Shadow, Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake, <laughs> Hot Shots Golf, Hot Shots Golf 2, and Killzone Liberation. So again, another nice stack of PSP games. Uh, and in the final stack of PSP games, we got MX vs. ATV Untamed, Buzz Master Quiz, MLB 11 The Show, Wipeout Pure, Power Stone Collection, SOCOM Tactical Strike, uh, SOCOM Fireteam Bravo 2, SOCOM US Navy Steel's Fireteam Bravo, uh, Ghost Recon Predator, and Ape Escape Academy. So yet again, another nice stack of PSP games. And I've also here lately wanted to start collecting PSP UMD videos and man oh man do we have a nice stack of them here. Alright, so we've got Hollow Man, Doom, Zathura, The Replacement Killers, Without a Paddle, Surf's Up, Hackers, Air Force One, The Grudge, another copy of Doom, and Kingdom of Heaven. There you go. And then we have got The Matrix, Barbershop, Seven Seconds, Stealth, Ice Age, another copy of Hollow Man, uh, Layer Cake, Hostel, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, that's cool, Click, and Office Space. So there's that stack. And finally, we've got a ton of Wii games. Okay, so I'm just going to run through these real quick. We've got Deal or No Deal, Trauma Center Second Opinion, New Play Control, Pikmin, Wii Fit, Rayman Raving Rabbids, Carnival uh, Games, Mini Golf, Chicken Shoot, Wii Ski, Nerf In Strike, Project Runway, America's Top Model, Dika, Dika Sports, Dika Sports 2, Active Life Explorer, Monster 4x4 Stunt Racer, Monster 4x4 World Circuit, Summer Sports, Paradise Island, Mario Super Sluggers, and Mario Strikers Charged. So there's that stack of Wii games. Next stack we have Poke Park 2, Wonders Beyond, Punch Out, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, uh, Wii Play, Fling Smash, Boogie, Bratz the Movie, Let's Paint, uh, Family Fest Presents Movie Games, The Blob 2, Help Wanted, Littlest Pet Shop, Sega Bass Fishing, Red Steel, Mario Party 9, The House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return, Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon, Need for Speed Nitro, Mario Party 8, and The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So that's a big stack of Wii games. And the final stack of Wii games, we have Lynx Crossbow Training, WarioWare Smooth Moves, Wii Music, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, House of the Dead Overkill, Ready to Rumble Revolution, Battalion Wars 2, Rayman Raving Rabbits TV Party, uh, Trauma Center New Blood, Epic Mickey, uh, PBR Out of the Shoot, Chicken Blaster, Rex, Agent of Providence, Kirby Epic Yarn, uh, Mario Kart Wii, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, and Donkey Kong Country Returns. So there's that stack. And that's everything in box number seven. So let's move on to box number eight. All right, so we're on the final box now before we move on to the box consoles and wrap up the video. Uh, this box is full of PlayStation 2, OG Xbox, and Xbox 360 games. So uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to go at this. I'm gonna start with the PS2 games. Yeah, we'll start with those. So 
Uh, we've got Buzz Jr., Jungle Party, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor, Legacy, Smugglers Run 2, Hostile Territory, Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec, Motorstorm, Arctic Edge, ATV Off-Road Fury, ATV Off-Road Fury 2, and iToy Play 2. So there's that stack. We have ICO, SOCOM 2, U.S. Navy SEALs, Big Mother Truckers, Def Jam Vendetta, Thunderstrike Operation Phoenix, Total Overdose, Hot Shots Golf 3, Metal Gear Solid 3, ATV Off the Road Fury 4, and Onimusha. So there's that stack. Next up we have Splashdown, Splashdown Rides Gone Wild, Smugglers Run, God of War, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Mortal Kombat Deception, Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow, and Silent Scope. There you go. Next up, we have Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, uh, City Crisis, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil Outbreak, iToy Anti Grab, Hot Shots Golf 4, Silent Scope 3, Monster Jam Maximum Destruction, The Mark of Cree, and Resident Evil 4. So there you go. Next up, we have Time Crisis 2, Disney Golf, iToy Groove, iToy Operation Spy, God of War, Resident Evil Outbreak File Number 2. The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, Silent Hill 3, Fireblade, and Coal Borders 2001. Final stack of PS2 games, we got Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, ATV Off-Road Fury 3, Ratchet Deadlocked, Final Fantasy X2, Final Fantasy X, SOCOM US Navy, Navy SEAL, Silent Scope 2, Dark Silhouette, SOCOM Combined Assault, and SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs. And that is all for the PS2 games. Let's uh, go to the OG Xbox now. We have Silent Scope Complete, Shadow Ops, uh, Sega GT Online, Outlaw Golf, Outlaw Volleyball Red Hot, Outlaw Volleyball, Outlaw Tennis, uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded Demo, Forza Motorsport, Unreal Championship 2, and Unreal Championship. There's a lot of good OG Xbox games in this lot. I'm very happy about that. Next up, we have Odd World Strangers Wrath. Uh, Tau Fame, Amped 2, Amped, Fable, uh, well that's the Fable Limited Edition bonus DVD, Blood Wake, Project Gotham Racing 2, Nightcaster, Halo, and Voodoo Vince. So some good stuff there. Next up we've got Far Cry Instincts, Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix, uh, Rally Sport Challenge, Operation Flashpoint Elite, Carve, Fable The Lost Chapters, Top Spin, NFL Fever, uh, NBA Inside Drive 2003, NHA Rivals 2004, and World Series Baseball. Next up, we have a Xbox demo disc, Fable, Superman, The Man of Steel, Metal Gear Solid 2, Freedom Fighters, Midtown Madness 3, Project Gotham Racing, Jade Empire, Mech Assault, and Black. Apex, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, GT, Sega GT 2002, uh, Rally Sport 2 Challenge, The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, which is actually a really good game. Uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper, Dance Dance Revolution, Ultra Mix 3, Quantum Redshift, Area 51, Tecmo Classic Arcade, and WWF WrestleMania. Three more stacks of OG Xbox games. We have uh, World Racing, NBA Inside Drive 2002, Outlaw Golf 2, uh, WWF Raw 2, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny, Crimson Skies, Crazy Taxi 3, High Roller, Outlaw Golf, Holiday Golf, uh, Dance Dance Revolution, Ultra Mix 2, Breakdown, and Monster Garage. Next up on the Xbox, we have Fusion Frenzy, Halo 2, Sneakers, uh, Snowboarding, Xbox Music Mixer, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Mech Assault 2, Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball, NBA Fever, I'm sorry, NFL Fever 2002 and NFL Fever 2003. And one more stack of OG Xbox games. We have Need for Speed Underground, Need for Speed Underground 2, Brute Force, Combat Task Force 121, uh, Otogi, Myth of Demons, The House of the Dead 3, Soldier of Fortune uh, 2, yeah, Soldier of Fortune 2, Toxic Grind, Bicycle Casino, and Kill Switch. So there's that. And finally, we have a bunch of Xbox 360 games. We have uh, Cabela, Big Game Hunter, Hunting Party, Nickelodeon, SpongeBob, Surf and Skate, Road Trip, Halo 3, ODST, Sneak King, Forza 2, Forza Horizon, Cameo, Elements of Power, Disney Infinity, Crackdown 2, and Mass Effect. So 
there's that stack. Next up, we have Sega Superstars Tennis, Skylanders uh, Trap Team, Skylanders Supercharged, Lost Odyssey, Fable 3, Dead Rising, Big Bumpin', Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, uh, Halo Reach, Vivo Pinata, Bioshock, and Skylanders Giant. So there's that stack. Next up, we have Dragon Ball Z for Connect, Destiny, Need for Speed Carbon Collector's Edition, Midnight Club Los Angeles, Gears of War Judgment, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, Disney Universe, Disney Infinity, Body and Brain Connection, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, and Moto GP 07. Next, we have Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Dante's Inferno, NBA Baller Beats, Titanfall, Perfect Dark Zero, Halo 4, Halo Wars, Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise, Viva Pinata, Party Animals, and Ninja Gaiden 2. And the last stack for the Xbox 360 is Skylander Swap Force, Blue Dragon, Earth Defense Force, Ace Combat 6, Pocket Bike Racer, Forza Motorsport 3, Lego Dimensions, uh, Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure, Red Dead Redemption, Halo 3, Gears of War, and Infinite Un in Discovery. No, Infinite Undiscovery. All right, and that is it for box number eight. So we're going to move on to the box consoles and other miscellaneous items now. All right, so uh, I'm going to show off the box consoles and some other miscellaneous items. So the posters, these posters are really, really nice. So we've got this Mario Kart Wii poster. We've got this Donkey Kong Country Returns poster. This really nice Zelda A Link Between Worlds poster. And we've got this really awesome Last of Us Remastered poster. And these are all in poster boards too with hang tabs on them, which is nice. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 poster. Very nice. And probably my favorite one out of the bunch is this Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask poster. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. So that's the posters. Uh, now another cool thing really cool thing that came in this lot is this Donkey Kong, this giant ass Donkey Kong figure. And apparently this thing is pretty rare, but it's really cool, really big. There's his ass in case you want to see that. Don't know why you would. He's got his uh, tie on. So that's that's pretty neat. Not something you see very often. Set him down right there. All right, and then I'm just going to run through some of these. The, the common consoles I'll just show real quick. So we got an Xbox 360. We've got a Kinect, which literally nobody cares about. I don't know, somebody might. Xbox One. This is pretty cool. A boxed Atari 2600, and the box is in relatively good condition. So that's pretty neat. We've got a boxed Nintendo Wii. The black version. A boxed OG Xbox. I have no idea what this is, except that it's old. A Channel F System 2. This thing is really old. Um, I don't know what it is. Never heard of it before. It's a very, very vintage console, obviously. I don't think I have any games for it. Um, looks like the controllers are in there, all the hookups, the manual. But uh, I'll have to do some research into that because I have no idea what this thing is. We got a boxed Wii U Deluxe. We got a boxed PlayStation 3, a boxed Sega Genesis Model 2, a boxed PlayStation, original PlayStation. We've got a boxed PlayStation 2, which a very friendly bird decided to take a shit on at some point, which I will of course clean that off. All right, now so here's the thing about this one, right? So we have the uh, Mario Kart Double Dash bonus set box, which is in relatively good condition. Very rare box, but uh, the GameCube in it is not the one that came with it. It is a that he put a platinum GameCube in here, but also don't have the game, don't have the controllers. But the box itself is really hard to find, so that's definitely a good pickup. We have this is a really cool, really cool a boxed Sega CD. Sega CDs are hard enough to find loose as it is, but to have a boxed one is really nice, really neat. We got a boxed Sega 32X. Again, just like the Sega CD, this is really rare to find loose, much less in the box. We have a boxed NES control deck. 
Uh, we have a loose Sega Genesis Model 1, I believe this is. Um, and it's got a copy of Minister 6 game in it. We have a Nintendo Switch, and what's cool about this Nintendo Switch, and actually got the box for it too. It's the uh, Super Mario Odyssey edition Nintendo Switch. But what's cool about this particular Switch is he actually modded it. So uh, he has modded it so he can play pirated games and things like that. I haven't decided if I'm going to leave it modded or restore it to factory settings yet. Uh, this is really cool. A boxed Commodore 64 computer. And the box is in relatively good condition. These are really hard to find, much less in the box. So I'm definitely happy to have that. Uh, another cool, cool item is a boxed Magnavox Odyssey. I actually have one of these boxed in storage, actually in better condition than this. Um, but still pretty cool to have another one. Next up, we have a boxed PlayStation 4. Not really anything special there. I mean, PS4 is a great console, but I'm sure you guys are more interested in the older retro stuff. We got a boxed Nintendo 64. Uh, we've got a boxed Super Nintendo Super Set, but I don't think the game is in there. We have a boxed Telegames Super Video Arcade. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it came from Sears. I just know that it's really old and vintage. This is really nice. A boxed Virtual Boy, and this box is in fantastic condition. Really, really good condition. Here's another really cool one. We've got a boxed Atari Jaguar. And again, this box is in really good condition. This is a very rare console, much less with the box. And there's at least one Atari Jaguar game in the lot, which is nice. We have a loose Nintendo GameCube with the Game Boy Player attached to it, but no Game Boy Player disc, unfortunately. But uh, this GameCube it looks like it's in really good shape. We have a boxed Sega Dreamcast. And last but certainly not least, one of the coolest items in the lot, and that is the PlayStation, the Resident Evil 4 Play it, PS2 chainsaw controller, and it has never been opened, and it's in really good condition. And I actually like the PlayStation 2 box version better than the GameCube version because the box looks cooler, it has more detail to it, and also it has this cool little this cool little pull-out drawer which has the uh, cord in it. That's a nice touch. The GameCube version doesn't have that, I do not believe. But uh, really good condition, never been open, and that's really awesome. All right, folks, so that's going to be it. I have no idea how long this video is. It's probably going to be really long, probably at least an hour, if not longer than that. So if you stuck through to the very end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, seeing me pick up this massive game collection. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about anything that you see today in today's video, or if you have any knowledge of some of the stuff that I've showed in the video today, especially some of the vintage consoles. If you have any knowledge, feel free to share that in the comments down below. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel so that you can join the Retro Wolf family. As always, folks, keep playing games and having a good time, and I will see you all in the next video. Later.